So SI's Peter King recently wrote an article arguing why Colin Kaepernick would be a perfect fit for the Seattle Seahawks. And it's picked up a lot of steam in the last 24 hours. And now we know they are interested in Kaepernick along with RG3. Now obviously the whole Kaepernick hasn't been signed because of racism argument is complete bullshit, but I don't think I'm going out on a limb by saying there are probably a few conservative NFL owners out there that want to steer clear of the PR backlash from his protests. There's a reason Kaepernick would be a disaster playing for a team like Dallas. But Seattle is a little different city. If San Francisco is the most liberal city in America, Seattle is its close cousin. But more importantly, Seattle needs a mobile backup quarterback because their O-line is the youngest in the league and is probably a couple years or a few roster moves away from actually being effective. So chances are, Russell Wilson is probably going to get the shit kicked out of him again this season, but he'll still manage to somehow win 11 or 12 games. If he does go down, you need someone that can escape pressure and keep the offense moving. Obviously, Kaepernick benefited from a Jim Harbaugh offense and more importantly, a Jim Harbaugh offensive line early in his career and that's made people think he's better than he really is, hence the racism argument. I don't think Kaepernick could carry the Seahawks through the playoffs, but I do think he could have one good playoff game and carry them to the next round if needed, and he'd be a solid filler for a few weeks in the regular season. And if there's any team in the league that can handle distractions at the backup quarterback position, it's Seattle.